Hi everyone, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and having a great week so far. This is an on demand video, and in this video, I'm going to teach you step by step on how to create your resume. I'm creating this video specifically for freshers who have graduated during this pandemic and did not have a chance to start their professional careers yet. Others can also take guidance as they wish. If you are a teacher and you think this video can help your students, please share it with them. In most articles and videos, you will find so many tips and tricks to make the resumes better, beautify them, but actually nobody teaches you how to make a resume from scratch. But don't worry, because after this video, you will be able to do it. If you watch this video until the end and prepare your resume, as I say, there are 99.9 .9 surety that your resume will be shortlisted. In this lecture, I'm going to cover the format of resume or CV, what to include in a freshman's resume, how to write the career objective, skills both professional and technical, interests, the project, how to write about your projects, learnings, volunteering experience, and finally, Create a resume based on job description. To start with resume building, you need to know what is a resume. A resume is a formal document that a job applicant creates to itemize his or her qualifications for a position. Simply, if you want to buy a notebook, which shop will you enter? A stationery, general store or a supermarket? A stationery, right? But why is it so? Can't a general store or supermarket have a notebook? Of course they can. However, the definition of a stationery clearly states that it has writing material. Similarly, your resume should have all those skills defined that a rec recruiter is looking for. This can only be done if you create your resume as per the job requirements. The first step in building your resume is picking the right format. Here you can see that in the left side, the resume is a plain document with a lot of details, while in the right side, it has a quick summary to it. Left side looks more like a hard work and with reduced attention spans and greater workload, most HRs spend only 2 minutes reading a resume. Some even skim these resumes using automated applications. So it would be wise to use the right one which can be quickly read and understood within a minute. Visibly, your resume should be in two parts, the summary and the details. The left side should have a dark background to enhance readability. It contains the summary about yourself, how to contact you, your professional and technical skills, and the languages that you know. On the right side, it should have all the details about your career goals, education, activities, experiences and interest. Most people think that experience is only about obtaining a job experience letter but in actual it is about the activities you have participated in and the skills that you have gained from them. I think the about me section is very clear so I am not going to go into the details. Okay. Directly coming to what are the professional skills. Basically, the soft skills that help you carry out your job effectively are called professional skills. Like you could be having very good presentation skills, effective communication, email writing, conducting meetings or group discussion. You could be a team player or a team leader. You might have some technical writing skills from your thesis that you had written in your college. Or you could have digital marketing skills like creating posters on Canva or Photoshop. Okay, so all these things are going to count in your professional skills. Technical skills are the ones that you have obtained from your education, trainings, internships or webinars. If they are not included in your curriculum, then you need to show a certificate for them. As a fresher, you can have three types of technical skills. Design softwares like AutoCAD, SolidWorks, ANSYS, Mastercam. Machine tool operations like CNC programming, PLC programming, SCADA and other apps like WordPress. Or you can have the knowledge of coding languages like C++, Java, .NET, etc. 
most engineers have computer labs in their engineering but but they forget to write them in the resume never make that mistake always include whatever you know training and achievements trainings that are additional to your curriculum are added in this section it includes software certifications like upskill solid works beginners pack and vocational training courses like product design the beginning introduction to automotive systems and achievements like prizes for co curricular and sports activities appreciation um like rank in the class best student and club activities and scores of exams taken for employment like gate amcad co cubes results etc okay let's coming to languages so it is not sufficient to just write the languages that you know you also have to define the proficiency level that you have for that language if you can understand a language like you have spent some time in a particular area so you can listen and make out what the natives are speaking then you are a beginner and you can give one star okay if you can understand as well as reply to general questions in that language then you have conversational skills in that language and you can rate yourself as two stars if you can professionally communicate in that language like read instructions and write letters or emails then you can rate yourself as three stars if you can fluently communicate give speeches hold meetings give clear instructions to your team in that language then you can give yourself a four star and finally if you are a total master in that language like you have perfect grammar and an extensive vocabulary such that you can also teach this language to anyone only then you should rate yourself as five star do not just simply give yourself a five star in everything because it is wrong and it is unethical career objective is the most important part of your resume this is where a recruiter actually forms an image of you in his mind okay you have to write it very carefully typically it should have one or two sentences and it has to be divided in five parts the sentence should start with an adjective about your personality like skilled goal oriented organized then your educational background like you're a mechanical engineer or civil engineer or an electrical engineer then the subject of your interest and it has to be very cleverly synced with the job description okay seeking to leverage my skills here your technical and professional skills will be added again as per the job description and finally the position and the company that you are applying for so if you are applying for a design engineer position in the automotive company uh, like tata autocoms where technical skills are more important then it will say skilled mechanical engineer with deep knowledge of automotive systems seeking to leverage my 3d modeling and drafting skills as a design engineer in tata autocoms and if you are applying for a procurement engineer for a manufacturing firm where your soft skills are more important it will say goal oriented mechanical engineer with thorough knowledge of materials and manufacturing process seeking to leverage my negotiation skills as a procurement engineer in hero motor corp so in this the adjectives are picked as per the job profile that you are applying for if it is a technical job like draftsman or or a designer then it will include skilled or determined if it is a partly management job like operations sales or procurement when negotiation is important then you should be organized result oriented and goal oriented if it is a training job then you should be organized confident and versatile if it is an r&d job then you should be analytical independent and problem solver and finally if it is a quality assurance job then you have to be critical outgoing and confident then you have to write about your education in reverse chronological order okay first your college degree then your 12th and then your 10th 
in around 5 to 7 lines you have to summarize everything you did during your academic days for each degree okay supposingly it is for graduation so your branch your college or university the aggregate marks that you scored which year did you complete your degree and if you received any kind of honors or any kind of awards for that particular degree should be in the first line then comes the subjects of interest like engineering drawing thermal engineering environmental studies manufacturing again this should be in sync to the job description next will be about the projects that you have undertaken what was the objective of the product what was the skills learned in this journey what was the final outcome of the product and if you received any kind of recognition or any paper was published it should be included in this section next is the activities that you have participated in this entire journey of this degree like any special conferences that you have attended any extracurricular or activities sports activities um, if you were a club president or member okay events that you have conducted or participated in during this course okay next will be your class 12th or higher secondary where which school you went to which board you appeared in the year of passing or uh, the aggregate marks any remarkable ranks that you got like uh, you could be the city topper state topper class topper subject topper or you got distinction in any subject that should be included in the first two lines next what was your subject like it could be physics chemistry maths with computers or ed or biotechnology or simply biology right what all projects that you have done like science project social science project and their details just like the previous section okay and after that the activities that you have participated mostly in school we take part in extracurricular activities or sports okay then any kind of volunteership like scout guide ncc or if you were a head girl or head boy of any class or house captain or class captain class magazine editor all these things have to be clearly written down okay because what happens as a fresher you might not have a lot of industry exposure but all these activities that you have participated in actually impart the skills that you have right now and which is going to help you to perform in your job then comes to internship and volunteering section this section will include your activities that you did outside of your degree internship has to have the duration the responsibilities that you shared and the skills that you learned at the end of the internship next any vocational trainings that you have included what was the duration what were the objectives of the training and what were the skills learned from that training any ngo activities you have participated in like help age india or unicef etc any social causes if you have taken stand for any kind of social causes like raised any funds online or some other similar activity conferences and webinars that you might have attended for any topics online training courses like language labs or software or anything all these things have to be written down last part of your resume as a fresher is interest okay so interests have to include one industry and two or three departments in which you want to create your career again this has to be copied from the job description and changed every time you are applying for a new opportunity now let us see some examples so here is a job description that says hiring for a design engineer location bangalore experience 6 months to 2 years design of components through unigraphics good knowledge of sheet metal welding and manufacturing process creating manufacturing drawing good knowledge of gdnt good drawing reading skills and coordination with the client if interested drop your cv at sukumari.ashwath at gloin.com 
सो यू आर अप्लाइंग टू बी अ डिजाइन इंजीनियर इन ग्लॉइंट कंपनी फॉर बैंगलोर लोकेशन इफ यू हैव बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ कनाडा इट विल बी अ प्लस पॉइंट बट इफ यू डोंट देन डोंट राइट इट इन योर रेज्यूमे ऑल द अंडरलाइन सेक्शन हैव टू बी एडिटेड एंड कस्टमाइज एज पर योर जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन बेस्ट वे इज टू जस्ट कॉपी द टर्म्स फ्रॉम द जे डी ओके सो अनादर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ जे डी लाइक इट्स अ पोजिशन ऑफ अ मैकेनिकल प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन इंजीनियर इन क्वेस्ट ग्लोबल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर पुणे लोकेशन नीड स्किल्स ऑफ क्रियो टूल एंड विंडचिल एंड एक्सपीरियंस ऑन शीट मेटल कास्टिंग एंड प्लास्टिक एंड एडिशनली यू नीड टू हैव अ नॉलेज ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड मोशन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स so all these things will go into your resume in the right places that's all for this lecture now you need to sit and create your resume quickly in this format if you have any specific queries regarding your resume or skills please comment below and if you like our videos please like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends in the next video we are going to discuss the mistakes that you need to avoid during preparing the resume thanks for watching